Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. in East Baltimore Friday afternoon is the latest of continued cases involving the machine. Now Baltimore police are looking for the three people they say stole the ATM. WJZ is live. Paul Gessler is at City Police Headquarters with a look at those suspects and how the theft fits into similar thefts across the region. Paul. Hi Nikki. Yeah, as you know, the story is nothing new. The methods, however, are changing, including the times of day. One thing remains constant. ATMs are still being targeted by thieves. Baltimore City Police need your help to identify these three suspects who they say stole an ATM from Apache Lounge and Liquor Friday. That's really risky, that is. It happened at 4 in the afternoon. Ain't, ain't nothing new people get broke and people get come up with new, clever ways to get money. I don't know. I mean, the money, yeah, but what can you do with an ATM machine? Some of the machines carry $20,000 in cash. This has been going on for a minute now. WJZ has reported extensively on the string of ATM thefts in recent years, more than 30 cases in 2021. In many of those, the thieves use vans or box trucks to remove the machines, sometimes crashing into businesses. This has been going on for like, what, a year or two now? You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, and it's really nothing to like. The thefts appear to be picking back up. City police say they've investigated 10 thefts and six attempted thefts in a two month period to close out this summer. This is one of the things, one thing you probably could do is just chain it up. You know, you, 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 you see the trend, you got ATM in your store, chain it up. Friday's ATM theft is unlike many we've previously reported. There was no crash into the front of the store. Happened during daylight hours, and the getaway car parked right outside the store's entrance. A blue minivan with Virginia tags parked right here on Landville. Last seen fleeing south on Milton. A similar daytime ATM theft occurred at a liquor store on Falls Road in Hamden just last month. We gotta be better opportunities for people out here, because if it ain't no better opportunity, this is the kind of thing they're gonna resort to. Back live now, city police told us by email tonight that they are investigating at least 21 ATM thefts here in the city since June 1st. They asked if you recognize any of those suspects from Friday's ATM theft on Milton Avenue in East Baltimore to give detectives a call. For now, reporting live from City Police Headquarters, I'm Paul Gaston.